Okay, we're here with uh, Peter Burling. Really nice race today, Pete, as you, you know, everyone said in the press conference. Exciting race to be in, back in course C. Um, you know, as you said, this is what the, sort of the brochure was about. Is it, you know, and that sort of racing round there with your boat, you know, there's lots of talk about even boat speeds and the two boats are even. It certainly looks with this old set of eyes that you guys have a pretty good speed edge upwind. You know, and you're just knocking on the door constantly, just keeping the pressure on them, waiting for a mistake. Is that okay. sort of your tactics? Yeah, well, we definitely have a relative different mode to, to Luna Rossa and that stuff. Um, you know, we feel like our boat's going really well, but, you know, at the end of the day, you've still got to put it in the right place. And, you know, we felt like we got a pretty even start. Um, you know, probably took half out that first beat to really decide who, who got the better of the start. And then... You know, from there it was really about you know, making sure we kept the game super tight. You know, we had a dip at the top mark, a couple of lead changes down the first run. Um, you know, and to keep it super close and be able to take that, that last shift into the top mark was you know, something that was you know, pretty pleasing for us as a group. Yep, and you know, racing on this course, obviously tomorrow the, the, there's a forecast to be a relatively nice nor'easterly breeze. Are you hoping that we can keep it on course C and that, and that stuff? Yeah, I mean, we love racing it on course C. You know, it's something we've spent so much time sailing there and, and 49er and, and different boats. And I think it's amazing seeing, you know, the boats fully surrounding the course as well and see the landmarks of North Head where there's just hundreds of Kiwis cheering us on. And, you know, we're just blown away by the support. It's pretty amazing to see, you know, how many Kiwis are getting behind this event, which, um, you know, makes us pretty proud to be a part of it. And just, just quickly, you know, I guess going back to a bit of the boat speed and the way you sail the boat, can you sort of put over like, I guess, almost a percentage number on how much you think you've improved the way you sail the boat since the start of this racing happens? You know, do you think you're, you're sailing 5% or 10% better? Like, is it that much an improvement going on, just finally being in some racing? Well, I think in some areas it'd be 100% better. Um, you know, and there's other areas where it's probably only a couple, but that couple of percents makes a massive difference. Uh, you know, every race we go in, we make a... Well, we have a different strategy to the one before that's, that's been worked on from, from all our learnings of the previous one. And you know, every race we still come out with a whole of things that we want to improve on and tidy up and you know, things that we thought would and wouldn't work and whether they did. Um, you know, effectively, at the end of the day, we've only done probably 10 tight races in an AC75 or whatever it is, 12. Um, so every race we learn a, learn a whole heap. And tell me, were you a little bit disappointed you didn't get the second race in today? Yeah, well, we definitely fired up for it. You know, it was uh, you know something that the breeze was looking pretty nice, but obviously that left shift they couldn't quite or orientate the course in time to you know, get a and before that 6 p.m. cut off. So, but yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it just means we get to go out there and do it all again tomorrow. Awesome, thanks, mate. See you tomorrow. So, Glenn, obviously a super fun race out there today. Looks, you know, I was just talking to Pete before. It looks from my old sailing eyes that you guys have a pretty nice speed edge in that breeze upwind. Certainly when you can get free and put the hammer down, the mode seems to be working well for you. And that shifty conditions, you know, does that does that sort of change your tactics a bit from the from the steadier stuff that you've had previously? Yeah, look, I, I, th I think, you know, as we've sort of gone on with this regatta, we've, we've certainly learned, you know, a little bit more about our strengths and weaknesses versus Luna Rossa. Um, you know, they've obviously got some some real strengths that they're, they're playing to. Um, I think when it is shifty and puffy, like, like on all high-performance boats, you know, if you can put your bow down and, and let the boat rumble, um, you know, on some good angles, you know, you can really pay some, some big dividends. Um, However, if you're, if you're sailing wrong angles fast, you know, you can end up right off the edge of the course. So, um, you know, our boat, I think, really likes, um, you know, sailing on, on the jib. And, um, you know, I think Luna Rossa can really grind, uh, you know, high mode and actually get themselves in some really strong positions, both in shift-wise and in mode-wise. So um, I think both teams are, are, are learning more and more about their, their strengths um, and their weaknesses as the regatta goes on. So... Yeah, good fun. yeah so, so it looks like you guys have done that a bit more in this last two days, you know, really putting the bow down in, in various situations and just booting it through them even when you've been behind rather than trying to hang up on them. And I guess the last two days we've seen more shifty conditions than we've seen before. So that's probably helped you in, in, in that kind of moding as well, I guess. Yeah, look, I think, you know, obviously shifty conditions, you know, uh, allow you to sort of, you know, sail freer different modes. It's harder to, to, to hit and hurt the other guy if it is a bit shiftier. Um, and I think there's 
quite often a few more passing lanes that are outside but if you get forced out to the wrong side um, the maneuvers are quite costly as we've seen so um, you really need to you know, have a long term and a short term plan um, but also be very adaptable to, to be able to change depending on the circumstance so um, you know those guys have certainly been putting their elbows out hard and you know we've got to sail extremely well to, 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 to win the race for sure. And one more question I know I wasn't allowed it but <laughs> how, are you, how are you going to go going back on a normal boat and not being sitting down to lure it? <laughs> yeah I'm not sure not sure actually I certainly haven't put a trapeze on for a while so it's, it's going to be a bit of a baptism of fire again I think but um yeah no looking forward to uh, you know some dinghy sailing down the track and um yeah sort of can't wait to uh, put the trapeze harness on and get back to normal awesome all right best luck tomorrow thanks mate cheers